All right, so I'm gonna show you how to properly use the Vive Teleporter uh, add-on in Unity. And uh, in its current form, it doesn't quite work 100%. Uh, it works just fine on a flat plane, uh, but when you get some terrain like this that has ridges and whatnot, uh, it seems to have trouble. Uh, so how do we fix that? Uh, well, I found the best way was to make a plane uh, and just make it invisible uh, and then kind of stick that sucker underneath the terrain uh, and then make the uh, terrain uh, so you can ray cast through it so the teleporter works just fine. All right, so what do we do? Uh, first thing is we need to have a plane and right now you'll see that it's not rendering its mesh uh, just make it render its mesh. It won't work if the mesh is invisible initially. Uh, later we're going to turn the mesh off so you can't see this anymore. Uh, okay, so we go to our stuff right here. Um, and what we need to do is we need to bake the nav mesh onto the uh, surfaces that we want. So uh, right now I don't think I've adjusted these yet so it should bake onto pretty much everything. So if we go over here uh, to navigation, uh, and then we go to bake. Well, right now we can see there's already a nav mesh that's on here. Um, but if we clear that and we press bake again, you'll see that flat surface has put a nav mesh on it. Uh, but this surface as well has uh, tried to get a nav mesh placed on it. And you can see that because the terrain isn't you know perfectly flat, uh, it's had some trouble. Uh, also, if you'll notice here, the bake agent size uh, has been modified from its original default values. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what they are. I think it might be like one and then for agent radius and step height of 0.5 or something. Anyways, uh, some guy on uh, GitHub uh, found out that uh, if you change these settings, uh, the Vive Teleporter mod would work just fine um, on, a, on a flat plane. So if you don't change these settings, you may have some trouble getting the Vive Teleporter to work at all. Uh, but with these settings, it should work on a flat plane, uh, but you'll still have problems on weird terrain like this. Okay, so what do we wanna do? Well, we don't wanna have the uh, nav mesh baked onto this. So we're going to clear this data, and then we're gonna go in here and select the uh, stuff that we don't want to put a nav mesh on. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to leave the walls as... No. No, fuck that. We're going to make everything un-nav meshable. Um, so we can go back here to the inspector, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to this thing that says static, and we're going to turn off navigation static. And it's going to apply that to all the children as well. So right now, if we go back and we decide to bake our navigation again, you'll see that it is only applied it to here. Now, this little blue bit here is actually from a little pit that I forgot to do the uh, static nav mesh thingy to. So if we clear our nav mesh, go back here, go to static, click the little arrow to the right, and turn off navigation static. And then if we do this again, it should be perfect. Excellent, great. So now a flat plane works, fantastic. Uh, the next step is to make it so that when we're using our teleporter, the, um, the uh, pointer uh, is not blocked by this uh, m mesh material here. So um, we want essentially the physics, uh, the particles that are being cast by the pointer to be able to pass through this material and then hit the plane that we're going to put underneath. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to assign the uh, meshes here that we don't want to uh, allow to be affected by the um, ray casting. We have to assign them to a special Unity layer. Um, and this layer is called the Ignore Raycast layer. Who would have thought? So if we apply that to all the children, now these uh, layers or these meshes will be uh, essentially invisible 
to the uh, physics ray cast that is used for the Vive teleporter. Great. All right, so now we can take our mesh here and we can move it to where we want our navigation area to be. So let's put it just pretty much you know, level with the ground here. That looks about right. Sure. Uh, and now we go back to navigation. We're going to clear out this uh, nav mesh that we've had here, and we're just going to rebake it where we want it. Bake it. There it is. And just to show you that the uh, navigation mesh is not being affected uh, by these meshes uh, of the dungeon, we can uh, quickly just raise them, and you can see that the nav mesh is hunky dory underneath. All right. So now we don't want uh, this uh, material to be visible. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the inspector with the uh, plane selected here. And we're going to go and just tell it to not be rendered. And now it's invisible. Uh, but the navigation mesh is still there. So the data is there. It's just you can't see the thing that you, was used to initially set the data. So from this nav mesh now, we need to set the uh, Vive teleporter information. I forget what it's called. But anyways, uh, if we go to the nav mesh and we go to the inspector of the nav mesh, we can update the nav. Oh, it is just called nav mesh data. So uh, we click this button, and you'll see a nice little uh, kind of transparent ring has formed where the uh, uh, Unity nav mesh was. So this means that this is our teleportable area. Um, so now, if we uh, go back in and actually test out our uh, our map here, it sure, let's see. <coughs> All right, I'm uh, moving away from the camera now to put on my uh, HTC Vive here. And now I'm in the matrix. All right, hopefully this is pick picked up on the recorder. But uh, you'll see that if properly configured, you press the button, a nice little curve comes up, and you can see uh, a uh, orange circle where you can teleport. You release the trigger, and you'll be able to teleport. And you see our nav mesh only appears uh, when we uh, push down on the large circle button to make it appear. Uh, normally, it's not visible. Um, so yeah, it's wonderful, beautiful. Uh, ideally, the next step would be to go back through here and make the uh, meshes for these uh, walls uh, to actually be something that is not on the uh, block ray cast layer, just so uh, you know someone doesn't teleport into another room of the dungeon through a wall or something. Um, but yeah, that should be a, an easy thing and can be taken care of by just ticking a box. All right, out of the matrix. Okay, and that is how you get the Vive teleporter to work, assuming you previously, of course, followed the setup instructions on GitHub, which is what I did, and it should work. All right, thank you.